Wow, that's two that's two steak dinners. <laughs> this is hard work. And then there's another steak dinner down. Ooga booga! That means there's a pig behind me, isn't there? Uh yep, yep, I can see a snout. Right between my legs. There you are, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> Hero pig. Anyway, welcome back to Minecraft Sevtech Ages and check out those moves. Not bad for a caveman, huh, Hero pig? Uh -huh. Look at that. He's so jealous. So jealous, you pig. Anyway, welcome back. Yes, let's get back to work. Let's get started. Indeed. Uh, so we're back here at the Ooga Booga Cave where we have not left for a little bit. And in the last episode, we had defeated the mighty Baycock, the evil spirit of Baycock. And we took his bow, and it's pretty dang awesome right there. So, by the way, I did uh, make up flint arrows instead of the bone arrows. You guys had mentioned, some of you in the comments anyway, that um, flint arrows do more damage, and they sure do. Base damage is 2.0 as opposed to 1.0, so you're better off shooting things with flint than you are with bones. So I made up a bunch of those, and we'll do some hunting at some point. Don't know when we don't need to do that today because today we're going to focus on moving up the advancements chart through evolution and out of the stone age into stage one or age one whatever they call it um, but we have five more things to do right here we got the flame grill goodness a uh, ace of melter base that's a heater and then we got to get down and get melty that's the final uh, the final advancement right here and that'll bring us to the new age, but we need everything first We have to do the gears and the we got to quit milling around and make a miller uh, a mill a millstone thingy So that's what we're gonna concentrate on today and hopefully we can move up through the ages So let's have a look and see what we need to do first thing we need to do. Well, let's look at the flame grilled hopper first uh, have it your way, just like a BK is, right? So we have, uh, we do have the shard right here, shadow gem thingy. We have a shark tooth, we have red cedar, and we have a whopper mark two made up. But we do not have charcoal dust, so we need to crush charcoal into dust. Now we can borrow someone's crusher, except they don't have any friends nearby. And I don't know how to make that thing, so we're going to have to make the millstone. So that is our priority, because we can crush charcoal into charcoal dust with a millstone and that is one of the achievements so let's see what a millstone requires that's this little fella right here and we have to use a hand crank until kinetic power is available so we're gonna have to uh i guess we have to crank it by hand and this is the hand crank right here which requires a gear so that's why we need this little fella right here so let's do that first and we need four buffalo teeth and red cedar planks uh how many buffalo teeth do we have? <laughs> I don't know if we have four buffalo teeth. Oh boy, things are gonna get sad around here. We have three. Oh gosh. Uh, we need one more. I need a volunteer. Who wants to volunteer? Uh, anybody? Nobody wants to volunteer, of course. You looked at me. You looked at me, that means you're the one. So we're gonna take you um, over here. Come on. Far, far away. Well, not too far. And I'm so sorry, but you gotta go. We need your teeth. And I know you're not just going to give them over, so we're going to have to kill one buffalo. It's the circle of life. Um, we do have more buffaloes over here, by the way. I've been breeding them. What you guys doing over here hiding? Oh, oh, let's get this guy, too. There we go. More teeth. The more teeth, the better. we got a couple over here, too. They're really easy to, to, um, to, to manufacture, <laughs> to breed. They're basically cows, so we're just going to give them some wheat. And I think there's another one around here somewhere. Uh, oh, there, there's a little guy. You better run. Uh, we're not going to kill the baby. But anyway, yeah, so they're they're basically cows in buffalo clothing. Easy peasy to uh, to breed. Hey, 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 get over here. Stay right there. So now we have our teeth. Fantastic. We get, even got a couple of extras. That's nice. Let's put the buffalo meat and the hides away. And now we can focus on our gear. Which was right here. A bear? Oh, hit the wrong key. There we go. We're not going to make a bear. We're going to make a gear. Wooden gear. I think we only need one, too. So we, we should be fine with the six teeth. Oh, we need red cedar planks. Uh, I don't have any of those. So let's go get some red cedar. I actually got a couple of red cedar trees growing here, which are super nice. Um, we're going to need two of these. We'll leave the rest on the cart. We're going to be moving very, very soon. When we get to age one... We're probably going to close this place down and turn it into like a museum. Uh, we'll preserve it 
in case people want to come over here and, and visit it someday in the future. You know, a million years from now, people are going to be like, hey, this is where the caveman lived. Pretty cool. And we'll leave it, we'll kind of leave it as is. It'll be pretty neat, right? I like stuff like that. I like uh, museums in Minecraft and preserving um, a history of the things that we have done in the past and leaving signs around and monuments, that kind of thing. Um, so, but we got a ways before we do that. So let's go ahead and make a gear. We only need one gear. So that's easy peasy. Um, and it is one, two, three, four, cedar, and then tooth, 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 tooth. Uh, wait, that was it, right? Did I get that right? No, tooth in the corner. <laughs> I got it backwards. Oh boy, caveman life is very, 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 very strenuous. All right, now I think that's right. Give me that ooga booga rock. <gasps> Ooh, gosh. I don't know if it's going to make it. Ooga booga! No, it did not make it. So let's go ahead and make a new one. Got plenty of stones in my pocket here, like any good caveman. Ooga booga! Oh, wow. Barely a, a, a whack that ends. Geared up for ratios, baby, right there. Sweet. So now we can make. Um, oh, we can make a mechanist's journal. I wonder if we get that for free anyway. So now we want to make this um, the hand crank. So the wooden gear, a couple of sticks, and then what is this? Any cobblestone. Oh, sweet. Well, that's super easy. We have plenty of that. Let's put the red cedar over here. Get that. Hey, get out of there. Cobble. Cobblestone. Cobblestone and a couple of sticks there. All right, easy. Even a caveman can do it. So let's grab our gear that goes down on the bottom and then a couple of sticks. Got a whole stack of sticks. Stack of sticks. Booga booga. Hand crank, baby. All right. So now we have the hand crank and we got to make the mill stone now and this looks pretty easy too it's basically just regular old stone smooth stuff a grindstone um wait a minute i think i have a grindstone and then a stone slab all right well let's do that let's put the stone away here and do i have um oh i don't have any smooth stone slabs so we can bang one of those out literally bang them out a couple of them and then, let me check that recipe again. I'm so bad at memorizing these things. And, well, it goes like boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. ba -dum. And then a, oh, we happen to have an extra grindstone right here. So the grindstone goes in the center and a little stone slab up at top. Is that it? Looks right to me. Booga, booga. It's right. We got a grindstone. Um, a millstone. Millin' stone. It's miller time, baby. And we are done milling around. So now this thing requires a hand crank. Um, so we got to put the hand crank next to it, right? Let's get rid of that. Where's my hand crank? And we just put it right here. Oh, it's smoking. Oh, sounds like a mine cart. All right, we put stuff in it. Yeah, we got to put the uh, charcoal in it. Uh, regular old charcoal, these little fellers. All right, little fellers, get in there. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll crank them up. All right. What happens? What happens now? We're going to keep cranking. Oh, I'm getting hungry. This thing makes me hungry. It's a lot of work. I guess I got to keep cranking. Keep cranking it. I'm just going to hold my right mouse button. Oh, it kicked out. We got some dust. Woo. Look how hungry this makes me. <laughs> you won't like me when I'm hungry. So I better eat some flatbread here. Let's check the nutrition panel. See how we're doing. Fruits, grains, proteins, and veggies. Um, yeah, let's have some fruit. Let us have some fruit. Hey, I wonder if... Oh, look at this. You guys hold the button down. <laughs> of course, I'm not hungry right now, but if you whack the, uh, the handle with berries or any kind of food in your hand, it should eat automatically when I get hungry, but I'm not getting hungry right now. How come it made me so hungry before? That's interesting. Wow, this is a lot of work. Being a caveman is not easy, let me tell you. All right, now we're getting hungry. All right. So, yeah, I guess we could just have some food in our hands. The nice thing is you can just hold your mouse button down and crank it. Can I get someone else to do this? Hey, Piggy. Piggy Wiggy. Come over here, buddy. I don't think he has it. He does not have an opposable thumb. It would be practically impossible for him. So that was it. That was four charcoal, and we got four dust. So according to my calculations, that is a beep, 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 one to one ratio. It's 
pretty lousy considering how much time it takes to make the darn thing. All right, whatever. Let's uh, let's check out that Whopper Hopper. The flame boiled, flame boiled, flame broiled, <laughs> flame broiled hopper, also known as a flame grilled whopper. Uh, shark tooth, charcoal dust, all the goodies. Okay, I can do this. We got that. We got the shadow gem, which we got from a shadow critter in the dark lands, if you recall correctly. That was fun. Uh, all right, let's just put this stuff in for now. And then we gotta go get. We're gonna need. Um, what are we gonna need? More red cedar. I think I only had one red cedar, didn't I? Get over here. Hey! Yeah, one red cedar. Alright, let's go grab some more red cedar. Oh, sun's going down. Sun is going down. We're gonna have to take a quick nap here in a moment. But let's see how much we can get done before that sun goes down. Right, and then uh, two red cedar. Where were the red cedars? I have a terrible memory for this kind of thing. All right, bang and a bang, and then uh, whack it with the ooga booga rock. Booga booga! I'm gonna miss this. Wait a minute. Oh, shark tooth! I was gonna say I'm gonna miss this um, this stump when we don't need the stump anymore. It's really really sad. Shark tooth. Well, we gotta go check our strainer. <gasps> yeah, remember the strainer? I remember the strainer. Strainer was fun. Fishing strainer. Look at all this stuff here. Holy cow. We just need the shark teeth right now. All right. Fabulous. So the strainer is actually gone. That's just the base of it. We're going to have to replace it. You guys are just sizzling and your spider sounds freaking me out. All right. That looks good now. All right. Let's do it. Booga booga. There it is, baby. Oh, it's colorful. And it's flame grill. Just the way you like it. Place under clay kiln or stone grill works as a fire source for basic automation. You don't say. Ooh. 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 Uh, we can put it underneath things here. All right. Well, let's put it under... I like my flame here. I like the way that looks, so I don't want to put it there. But how about if we put it here? That was a piece of charcoal down. Well, let's grab the charcoal. All right. That ought to do. All right, so now let's try again. Put some stone in there. And this flame-grilled hopper is providing heat to the kiln. And there we go. And voila. Where did it go? Oh, it's in the thing. Why won't it go down? It doesn't look like it's connected. So why is that not connected? I think we're going to have to move it. Let's try that again. We have to do this in order, apparently. So let's put this here. And then the flame grilly grill on top. Now that should work. <laughs> all this automation. I'm just a caveman. I want to hit things with my bone axe. That's all I want to do. But this ought to work. If it doesn't, I quit. I quit Sevtech Ages cooking it's really slow it's a slow cooker all right things happened things happened there we go it works okay so there is a process here you got to put the chest down first then the whopper on top of it um, and then it should work perfectly fine and let's go let's make a chunk of charcoal can't really make much in these kilns but there we go and we're gonna cover that up um, unfortunately I can't cover it because I can't get to it so, again, I'm not really crazy about this setup right here. I'm going to have to move stuff around. But that's how it works. Pretty fancy stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going to put it. Cause I like the fire here because it looks like a fireplace. I guess I could raise these up. Which means i got to move this guy here. And move everything around. Now, I wonder, can I... Oh, no, I lost that thing. Look, brick. Dang it. Uh, yeah, some of the stuff you can squat and move, like the chests. Um, can you move these guys? Uh, oh, dang it. So I ruined it. I'll just have to make another one. No biggie. Let's move it up here. And then we'll move this guy up. This you cannot move with a squat. So good to know. But we can smash it and get it back. And then the, uh, yeah, this feller. Whoops. Pick you up and 
put you down right here. And I think I did the process wrong. Yes, I did. All right. Well, I mean, it works, but I don't like the way it looks. And, uh, I mean, to really take advantage of this whopper, you need to have another hopper up top and feed it um, automatically, right? So, for, for my purposes, I don't really need this here. I don't like the look of it. I'm going to put it back the way it was. I don't see myself using this that often, really. I mean, how much stone do I really need? I can just put one piece in at a time. So, I'm going to make another kiln and go back to the way it was before we preserve this cave as it was before that uh, flame grill whopper. But we did need to make it anyway, at least for the, uh, the achievement. In fact, let's check that out right now. Uh, we got it. Yay! And we got the mill and the gear. And now we need to make the ace of melter base, uh, which is basically a heater. And then the actual melter, which I guess is a smelter. And we can start getting into the metal age. And we need to make this guy right here. It's porcelain heater. So we need porcelain bricks, a clay barrel extension, um, and a stone grill. What is all this stuff? Unfired porcelain. Clay kiln, stone grill. How do you make porcelain? Oh, I can make porcelain on a millstone with flint, clay, and white dye powder. Oh, okay. And we get white dye powder from bone meal. Sweet. All right, well, let's go. What are you doing in here? Where did the eagle come from? Hi, eagle. I don't know why the eagle's here. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even see you come in. All right, fine. Why don't you come back out, though? Come on, no birds in the house. They poop everywhere. That's all they do, eat and poop. Not even sure where that thing came from. Oh, you were up on the... Uh, no, get out of the flames. Oh, you dummy. Do not fly in there. Chuck pushed you off the totem, didn't he? Oh, that big meanie, that Chuck. This eagle was up here, enjoying the view from... Oh, oh there we go. My spider, spider uh, power is kicking in. Spidey powers. And Chuck, you pushed the bald eagle off, didn't you? You pushed Baldy off. It's not very nice, you big bully. All right, fine. You're just going to have to hang out down here, my friend. I'm sorry. Chuck's bigger than you. So, to deal with it. Um, now, we need, uh, we need to put some bone meal in here. Do we have any bone meal? I think so. Um, white fleet. Oh, we got tons, tons, and tons of bone meal. Let's go put some of this in here. Put this fella to work. Get to work, you stinker. Give us some white powder. Awesome. So just sitting here waiting for Buffy to finish grinding our bone meal into white dye powder. And I happen to find this book in my pocket. So check it out. It is called A Mechanist's Journal. I'm not sure exactly when we got that. But it must have been after one of these achievements over here somewhere. Um, but there it is. So it gives us a uh, well crash course on this particular mod. Whatever it is, B W M. Better with mods. Fantastic. So I will look into this off camera um, and see if we even need it to finish this age. Probably not, because I don't think it's a caveman age thing. It looks way too complicated. So for now, I'm gonna chuck it over here, and get it out of my my hands, and uh, looks like Buffy's done. So let's check out your work here. White dye powder. Look at all the good white powder. Fantastic. Let's go finish what we started here. And then we'll probably call it a day. Um, I have flint and clay in order to make the porcelain thingies. And we do this on a millstone. So looks like we're going to be cranking with our hands here. Flint, um, clay, and white powder. I don't know if it has to be in order like that. But let's try it. So flint, um, clay, and white powder. And then we crank it up. And let's check our nutrition. Grains and vegetables. So we'll eat, uh, we'll have a, a full meal. It is dinner time, it's getting pretty late here. Not getting hungry, oh, there we go, hungry. This thing is really loud. I can't hear if anything's sneaking up on me. Oh, there it is, we got some porcelain. It popped out right into our inventory. I wonder if we should get a little closer. I might wanna move this into the middle of the room. Looks like it just pops right out the front though. Oops, no, no, no. All right, eat up. Wow, that's two, that's two steak dinners. <laughs> this is hard work. And then there's another steak dinner down. All right, come on, one more. What? No, not the flatbread. I want, I want the thing. Where'd it go? There we go. Oh, it's all popping out fast now. All right, we got five 
porcelain. Unfired porcelain. So we need to fire that. Right? We can make a block. Or we can put it on our stone grill and make a porcelain brick. Cool! Well, let's do that. Let's take the baked potatoes off. And fire these up. There we go. There we go. Porcelain brick, baby. Sweet. And how many of these do we need? We need we need a total of six. So I'm going to have to go back and do some grinding. All right. Let's keep grinding here. Got another one. All right. There we go. So that's going to give us six. Um, and then we can make this thing. What's a clay barrel extension? Information. Barrel extensions can be placed above barrels to extend the capacity. An extension adds four buckets to the capacity. Oh, that's kind of cool. Although ours is still, like, not even close to full. And we have to make an unfired clay barrel. Oh, that's just regular clay. Ew. Uh, how much clay do we have? Well, we do have enough. You know what we're going to do? I think for the last thing we do today... Well, first of all, let's eat. Let's eat... Oh, wow, look at our proteins. are so high right now. Let's eat um, some flatbread. Yeah, I think this will be the last thing we do today because we're running out of time and we'll make this mill, uh, we'll make this porcelain thing in the next episode. But at least for right now, what I'd like to do is upgrade our stump to the uh, Mark II variety of stump right here so we can do multiple items at the same time or one right after each other, right? So we need a shelf, work stump, chopping block, and a piece of... Uh, piece of wood. Can I get this down from here? Hey! Give that back, you! What a thief! Wait, how the heck do you get the thing off the wall? <laughs> if you can't chop it with anything. Okay, well, I guess I'll just punch it. That's really odd. So fortunately, we have an extra shelf here. And what else do we need? We need another work stump. Um, so we have to make a new one of these. Okay, let's bang out an upgraded Ooga Booga stump. Finally, I know we've been waiting for this for a long time, and now we're gonna get one. Booga booga! Yeah, I messed something up. Maybe we do need dark oak wood. Um, but I have some. Oh, I have a secure wood. Okay, good. I think that'll work. Man, this um work stump Mark II is very finicky, isn't it? <laughs> very finicky indeed. All right, booga booga! There we go. Looks beautiful with that uh, Sakura, Sakura wood down at the bottom that you can't see. All right, let's put it down. Work stump mark two. Oh, look at that! There's like a little piece of fabric down there for our work stump for our Ooga Booga rug. It's like a little bed. <laughs> little Ooga Booga rug has this whole little cozy bed. Isn't that awesome? And now we can do multiples. Check it out. Yeah, we should have done this a long time ago, but I like doing things the hard way. In case you didn't notice. All right. Ooga Booga. One Ooga Booga two. Awesome. Big upgrade. Amazing. Now we have our unfired clay extension. And we can fire those up, right? So we need... This thing is called a heater. Um, yeah, the two and a small grill. All right. Well, you know what? We, we can probably do this today. I think we can do this today. I think we can. Um, that goes in here. I think so. i got to make another kiln. Hope I got this right. Hope I got this right. Yeah, there it is. All right, get it out of there. Why is, where, why is it not going down? Is this thing busted already? It's brand new. What the heck? There it is, down there. Um, what else? What is that in there? Um, I don't know. It looked like there was some leftover, but we got our clay barrel extension, so that's all that matters. Come on, baby. All right, and we got two. Doesn't it look like there's something else in there? What's going on? I don't know. I don't care. What I care about is making this thing right here. Uh, and now we just need a stone grill. Do we have an extra stone grill? We have a fire pit. Do not have an extra stone grill. All right, well, let's make up a stone grill. Three rocks and a regular stone. You can do that. You can do that on our new... Booga Booga Stump Mark Two, Fantastic. And then these stones right here. Uh, one, two, three. And give me that Ooga Booga Rock. Oh, he's sleeping. Get over here. Time to wake up. Ooga Booga. Yeah, maybe that bed's a bad idea down there. <laughs> 
And the hands are getting full as usual. So let me just dump a couple of things out right quick here. There we go. I don't think we need the stone anymore. All right. So now um, I think we're done. We can make this thing, right? So porcelain bricks, two clay barrels, and that feller down there. Three, one, two, three, and then the two clay barrel extensions. All right, booga booga, and we got ourselves a heater, Ace of Melter base. Awesome. So we only have one thing left to do. We got to get down and melty with it, and craft a melter to begin melting down ores. All right, what is a melter? Let's check it out. Maybe we can do this today. Although we're kind of running out of time. Oh, forget about it. <laughs> we need six more porcelain. I need another f flame grilled whopper, another stone grill, and a primal chest advanced. We'll do that next time. Because I, well, yeah, I guess I can, we should do it right now. Maybe we should do it right now. Let me let me check the time on this episode because I don't know if we even have enough time for this. All right, guys, I'm back and I'm uh, I'm cranking the crank shaft right here, trying to make some more uh, more porcelain. But uh, we're running out of time here. Actually, I'm too exhausted. Whew. that is a lot of work. And in fact, I've got to go eat lunch in real life because I am uh, I'm famished here. Miss, it is my lunch break right now. It's well past my lunch break and I gotta go. This is going to take a little more time to do, and I will do this off camera, and then we shall continue right here. In the next episode, we'll make that melter, melt our faces off, and then move on to the uh, to the next age. And that'll be a, that'll be a big uh, a big deal. So why don't we just do that in the next episode, and then we can um, play around with age one. So yeah, let's 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 leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time. So, ooga booga. That means uh, catch. Nice catch. <clears throat> anyway, all right. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.